they are not gifts. They are for you to make decisions. I have said with clarity that each and every one of us must clear their desk once a day. When you find that your desk is piling up with uh, documents and files and papers, then you know something is wrong. Um, it is my expectation that uh, as we have promised the people of Kenya, we are going to digitize all the 5,000 government services in the next six months to enhance the efficiency of government. Eliud Owalo and his team know what they need to do with the support of the Attorney General and all the other people in Treasury and, um, and, and all the other sectors. And every principal secretary and every cabinet secretary must make it their business to work with the Ministry of ICT so that government services in your departments, in uh, the areas of your, your jurisdiction, are digitized in the next six months so that the people of Kenya can access government without too much bureaucracy. It should be p uh, possible for the people of Kenya on their phones, the same way leveraging on technology we have managed to demonstrate that it is possible to roll out a huge program like the Hustler Fund with 17 million people on board, 13 billion shillings already lent without meetings, committees, and all the rest of the bureaucracy. It sends a very clear signal to us that technology can, leveraging on technology, we can make this administration not just professional, but most importantly, efficient. Um, the people of Kenya should be able to pay from the comfort of their homes for government services. They should be able to know their electricity bills at home and pay them. They should be able to uh, transact on birth certificates, on uh, all the other government services that are required uh, from the comfort of their phones. And using technology, we will also close the loopholes of pilferage and loss of government revenue. I want to tell you already, we are making very huge strides using technology to seal the loopholes that have always been a problem to us in matters collecting tax. It is my expectation that all of us, um, we have at the moment, I think 15%, about 300 government services that are digitized, 5,000 uh, government services are not. Uh, my expectation is that this exercise in the next six months will be complete so that Kenyans can interact, whether they are land records, whether they are, want to know their rent, whether they want to know um, what they have to do uh, with whatever other government service, they should be able to do it uh, efficiently and um, without much uh, hindrance or unnecessary uh, bureaucracy. It is our expectation as well that leveraging on technology and ensuring that we build the necessary ecosystem for us to collect every penny that is due to the government of Kenya. As I have said, the whole of government approach is that we must be creative, we must be innovative. There are areas that we don't have to use public resources to drive government agenda. There are areas that we need to be creative, bring on board the private sector, create or um, uh, consolidate and uh, formulate and package government programs into investment opportunities and get the private sector to invest in those opportunities where there are revenues that can support 
investment in those areas. Case in point uh, is the Ministry of uh, uh, Water. We have agreed that water is a commodity that we can sell to our um, uh, off-takers who want to use the water for irrigation, to off-takers who, uh, who want to use water for all the other services, and we should be able to package our um, water harvesting um, activities and water uh, harvesting programs into investment opportunities and get the private sector to come on board. That can be replicated in many government uh, programs that are in our manifesto. We must be clear that the whole of government approach is bottom up. We have agreed that our approach, whether we are thinking about our um, interventions in uh, the economic sector, it must be from the bottom up. Whether we are investing in, whether we are looking at our uh, programs in agriculture, we are today recruiting farmers from the farmer who has an acre or two acres to the farmer who has a thousand acres so that we can service them. And again, we are going to use technology this time round to support our farmers with whatever subsidy programs that we have so that we make it efficient, we make it uh, free of uh, brokers and uh, middlemen, and those are the people who normally give us uh, challenges. Again, it is the whole of government approach. We have agreed uh, that uh, we, as we sit as a team here, we're going to have a break, uh, a break, up, uh, break up groups so that we can go and de uh, delve into detail. And every ministry is going to give us timelines on the priorities that we have set in our manifesto. When are we going to finish this program? When are we going to actualize this commitment? And we are going to have a three month, <clears throat> a six months, a one year, a two year program that is going to inform what the whole of government approach is, um, uh, is going to look like. And that is going to be available to all of us. We have agreed also that um, from the next cabinet meeting, uh, Masvi Wanjao, our um, secretary to cabinet, has assured us that from the next cabinet meeting, uh, our meetings are going to be paperless. Again, we are going to run our cabinet on the basis of uh, the digital space. And progressively, it will be expected of government in every department um, that we can leverage on technology to make government much more efficient. Uh, sending a, a letter takes longer than sending an email. The email arrives instant. A letter make, uh, tells us we have to get a messenger and another motorbike and another messenger on the other side and the receptionist on the other side and all manner of bureaucracy. I think it is time Kenyans got value for the resources they put at our disposal to run their affairs. Um, government is a continuous enterprise. It is my expectation that um, every government program that is in place, we must assess whatever that is in the best interest of the people of Kenya. We align it to our program and make sure that those programs are completed. And as we build our own programs into the next uh, budget. It is also our expectation, and uh, you have been uh, taken through the program of budgeting by 
uh, I think P.S. Kipto and uh, C.S. Uh, Ndungu, so that the next budget must reflect the priorities that we have and must also carry the completion of all the other programs that are in the best interest of the people of Kenya because government is a continuous uh, enterprise. Let me also say that um, it is my expectation that each and every one of us must work beyond their village and their county. It is my expectation that we will see PSS in Turkana, CSS in uh, Vanga, and all manner of places appreciate Kenya. Many people that I know have not traveled beyond their village or their county. Yeah? Each and everybody here must, you must appreciate what Kenya looks like because you are the PS for every corner of Kenya. You are the CS for every corner of Kenya. And your service must reflect the national responsibility that has been assigned to all of us and to you uh, in particular. Uh, it is expected, of course, that uh, this will cascade down to the departments that we have, the parastatals that we have, and the rest of, uh, of, 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 the, of, of government as a, as a whole. And <clears throat> finally, is to say that as we carry out uh, this uh, uh, huge responsibility that is on our shoulders, we must know that we have a contract with the people of Kenya. The people of Kenya went to the ballot and signed off a contract with me, which contract I share with each and every one of you. When the people of Kenya went to the ballot, there was the name of William Ruto and the Gadi Gashagwa on the ballot. They signed off and we have a contract. It may not be written in any paper, unlike uh, you guys, at least you have a, a, a contract between me and you. You have a letter of appointment. My letter of appointment, we received it on the 9th of August. So that letter of appointment has responsibilities, and those responsibilities are solemn. Those responsibilities are sacred. The contract that we have with the people of Kenya is solemn and sacred. And my request to you, members of my team, cabinet secretaries and principal secretaries, is that we must protect the interest, the resources of the millions of the people of Kenya who pay tax. Before you sign up any contract, as you work with anybody that comes to work with government, your position must be informed by the interest of the people of Kenya, the people who do not have ties. Some of them don't even have shoes. Some of them cannot get beyond the watchman. They cannot hire a lawyer. Those people are the ones who have hired us. We are their servants. We are their advocates. So in every con contract, in every transaction, we must protect their interest and we must carry their aspirations and they must be reflected in every action of government. They are the people who have hired you through me. So those are our bosses. So to all of us, um, to the extent possible, 
um, we must reach out to, uh, to them. And as I have said, we are going to have a session tomorrow with um, our members of the um, legislative branch of government. And we are going to agree with them how the people's representatives elected as members of parliament and senators are going to work with us so that it can be possible for members of this administration, cabinet secretaries, to go before parliament and explain our plan and prosecute our agenda and answer to the people's representatives and be able to inform Kenya and Kenyans on what we are doing. An administration is as good as the checks and balances that exist. And therefore, we are ready to subject ourselves to accountability and to oversight so that before it is too late, we can know whether things are going right or things are going not so right. And we can be able to, uh, to know what we, are, what we are going to do. Um, so uh, again, I think tomorrow, we are also going to have a session with uh, the representatives of governors because government is government at the national and government at the county. And we want to agree with our governors on areas of partnership, on areas of collaboration, because it is expected of us uh, by the constitution. And so we're going to agree with our governors, especially on functions that are shared, on functions that we have, um, uh, we have delegated to them uh, to do and on areas where they think that uh, the national government can assist counties in delivery of the assignment and the mandate that is assigned uh, to them. I have already told good professor Abraham Kedure Kindiki and his team to make sure that the national government administration officers all the way to the assistant chief and the Nyumbakumi people support government programs, whether they are county government programs or national government programs. Because programs that benefit the people of Kenya, it is the responsibility of national government officials to support those programs for the benefit and in the interest of the people of the Republic of Kenya. Um, there are other um, interventions that we are going to work with you. I want to assure each and every one of you that I will be ready, willing, and available to mentor the younger ones you know, and assist you to be better public officers than us. Uh, and I'm requesting the senior uh, members of this team the people who have served longer, to be gracious. The new guys who have come on board, the younger ones like uh, my good friend Dagar there, yeah, we support them, we help them, uh, mentor them, uh, because if we have younger leaders, younger public servants um, who become, uh, who are better trained, who are better mentored, it is not just good for us, it's good for the people of Kenya and it's good for the future of our country. So let us work together in that manner. Um, let us reach out uh, to one another um, and let us make government uh, efficient. Finally, we have members of my uh, uh, economic advisory team led by the chairman, Professor Ndi, here with us. Nobody has a monopoly of knowledge. Even me, 
I refer many things to members of my advisory team. Because to be able to make the best decision, you must make it on the basis of the best available information. So whenever you are stranded with a matter and you don't know whether it is this way or the other way, if you're not sure, we are available to support you. This, this team is available uh, and ministers, PSS, feel free to consult you know, uh, on, on matters that uh, I, I have run a ministry so I know it can sometimes be difficult and it can be sometimes very lonely and you don't know whether you're making the right decision or not. I want to ask you, whenever you are faced with difficult matters, this is a whole of government approach. Do not feel shy to say, I don't know. You know? Waswahili wanasema, kuuliza si ujinga. Bali ni kutaka kujua. So, ask. Uh, I have told you, I have given you my number. Drop a, an SMS, Mr. President. Uh, I have this decision to make. Um, I have tried to get as much information as I could, but I am not uh, in a position to make this decision. Uh, I will help you if I'm in a position to. Uh, if not, also let us use the resources we have. You know, Ask your colleague, talk to the economic team, and make the decision. But by any means possible, do not allow files to pile in your office. Find the shortest time possible to make the decision and allow government to function and get the people of Kenya results. We must never be hostages of processes and bureaucracy. We are going to be products of decisions and we are going to get results. Let me repeat this. We must never be de we, we must never be defined by processes and bureaucracy. We should be defined by decisions and results. And, and that's how um, uh, I expect uh, this administration uh, to work and this government to work for the people of Kenya. Um, we have agreed on the other housekeeping matenos, which I don't want to uh, repeat here on how, how we move forward together. It was necessary for us to uh, lay this foundation. We now are going to uh, do the plenary that uh, we're going to uh, ask questions here on the presentation that I made uh, this morning. And after that, we are going to uh, have uh, groups, uh, different sectors to meet and come back to us with priorities and timelines on the delivery of, um, of the plan and the commitment that we made to the people of Kenya. Again, let me appreciate each and every one of you. Again, congratulations on your appointment, and I look forward to working with each uh, and every one of you uh, the senior members of this team, J.B. Muturi here, my good brother uh, Wycliffe Musalia here, people who have served in government longer, please help us mentor the younger, the new uh, members of this team so that we can all deliver as one. Finally, let us not be hostages of the traditions of the past. You know, you will go to a ministry and somebody is going to tell you, oh, this is how we have been doing it. The question I want you to ask them is, if this is how it has been done, why haven't we seen the results? They say insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. If we have to get different results, we must do things differently. So um, there is only one sure thing that 
we must keep innovating. We must keep at it until it works uh, for the people of Kenya. So, Asanteni Sana, I wish you well, and I look forward to the next two days uh, for us to be able to deliberate on the matters before us. Asante, thank you very much. We can now allow the media to give us a bit of space so that we can do